Good day students. Today we are going to cover inserting organograms into our Microsoft Word. Um, so you start out in the insert menu. And you would go into Smart Art. And we're going to be using the one here that is under Hierarchy. Because that's where your organization chart sit. And we will use the basic shape, the basic organization chart. And then we click OK. This will then bring up a text box where we can type in the, na the names of the positions. Um, so we're going to just utilize the facility here. And we're going to have to put in a chief executive officer. And bearing in mind that if you need to add in any other additional text below the position that you've just captured, you can click in the text box and you can just hit enter a few times. And in this case, we're going to put in the CEO over there. Now, next position we're going to click on. And we are going to put in a general manager, which is working alongside the CEO. And we can have three departments in here. First one is finance. Then we will have human resources. And lastly, we will have a marketing department. Now, one thing you can also do. Um, is that if your question maybe asks you that um, to add in a position and for instance we're going to put a, a secretary in for the general manager all we have to do is click on that position we can then right click on it and we can go to the option that says add shape and in this case we're going to add a shape as an assistant okay and there we're going to call that it's going to be the secretary we just click in the box that's been created for that and if ever we have a position where we need to we decide we're going to outsource our marketing department all i have to do click on that department and i delete so depending on what your questions are asking you for um, so for instance your general manager is now also resigned and they decided not to replace his position you just click it and it disappears you see the secretary and then you're finally left with an organization chart where you only have the chief executive officer with the finance and the human resources department. Okay, that concludes this activity. We will move on to the next one now.